Hello, my ladies and rugged gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Look What's Happening in the Spirit Realm with yours truly, Light. So today, I'm hearing there's some kind of regret in the air, but it's a kind of regret that's unspoken. It's a kind of regret that carries a lot of shame and I want to say the embarrassment is shifting, the tables are turning. As I mentioned yesterday, because of your fearlessness to express yourself and your authenticity, because of your trust and spirit, you might often bear the brunt of many of your first interactions, meaning you become the one who lays everything out on the line and you become the one who ends up getting hurt, the one that people can feel confident pushing away or they can feel confident being distrusting of because you've put everything forward and people don't usually do that. So with that in mind, right, I'm hearing there's a disadvantage to where you might have been, but there's a massive advantage as well. And this is one of the things that I want to say a lot of people that you may have interacted with in the past could be holding back. There is an element of you were right. This was an inkling they felt when you were in connection with them, but it's something that's a slow burn. Like I usually say in this channel, that's slowly sinking in as time goes on. And it has a lot to do with stuff that you may have openly and confidently said to these people in the past. Now... <laughs> I do want to get into the center or the meat and potatoes of the topic today right away because this is about our straddlers. I, I love calling them straddlers. People who want to straddle their reality that they don't want to sacrifice with the reality or the future that they want to have with you. The unpredictable, crazy source of embarrassment as we are sort of continuing from yesterday's video. So you become some kind of like, for lack of a better term, this dream object or this far off possibility that people entertain in their wildest fantasies or people entertain in their spare time. Like, you know, if I were crazy, of course I would like leap into this, but I am not. So what people more often than not do and what I'm trying to get to about this specific situation is they straddle. They don't want to quite be in your life, so they don't invest in you. They don't put forward the effort that you would otherwise notice them putting into other people, places or things, as I like to call it, karmic places or things, because they can trust that those things won't abandon them. Because deep down, it's a fear of abandonment and the unknown, which you embody, thus creating a polarity to the interactions that you have. So now these people are kind of in a state of mind of they know exactly the fact that you are right. Okay, we're gonna calm down. They do, they do, they do. But they don't wanna admit it. Like, see, you put a mountain before these people. Not only do they have to face up to their feelings, which is completely encroaching on them, like I mentioned, my lover, you are a slow burn. Now they have to deal with the fact that you were right and some of you are going to parade that rightness. And this is where a lot of people are going to find themselves, if not right now at present, in the future. Because these are the people that tried to straddle you. They tried to keep you around, but at the same time didn't consider what you required, what your needs were, what you deserved. So you may have severed connections with these people or things may have just fell apart and i'm here to let you know that that's for the best right you don't want to extend the process of these people having to face the brunt of their reality because it is you are like a pill a, a little drug a little secret a little side hustle no <laughs> you're more than that and more often than not, you were never allowed 
to straddle realities, right? And you know how they say people who are power hungry are those who are ruling the world? No. It's the powerless that are ruling the world. They were never given a choice to straddle, to take comfort in having a safety net, to take comfort in being welcomed to in both sides, to not have to make a choice that would define their reality. You weren't given that room. Thus, you had to possess this quote-unquote crazy, this quote-unquote your authenticity in general. You had to possess what you truly wanted and your priority had to be starkly, it starkly was facing you in the face as opposed to you having room to run away into these side quote-unquote commitments or side situations that kept you busy or that made you feel like, hey, I can I can have my cake and eat it too. So this is exactly what these people would try to do with you. And this is exactly why you might feel a sense of uneasiness, a sense of just like general discomfort, probably even physical pain, fogginess, a sense of irritation, upset, not knowing exactly why you might be obsessively thinking of someone or they're like constantly coming up in your mind or you feel like a need to resolve something with them that's not quite tangible it's because they're hiding a reality from you they're literally hiding their true life from you their quote-unquote true life you are an experiment you you are something that they are entertaining there's a difference. They're not in connection with you. They're entertaining you, right? They can turn off the TV. That's how they see you. You shouldn't give them an opportunity to even have the goddamn fucking television to begin with. You shouldn't give them the opportunity, let alone to even have the fucking remote control. They shouldn't even be having a taste of what it's like to be in the modern times. We're going super deep into this metaphor. But you know what I mean, right? Let these people starve. Push them into the reality they've chosen. Shove them into it. Let them sit in it. Let them sit in their choice. It's not because you are right and they are wrong. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with your A, self-respect, and B, you not having to deal with a a state of anxiety because of how purely you can connect to source and how much of this energy that impacts you you leak energy when you are with people who have one foot in with you and one foot out you create a dent in your auric field where negative things can come into play where you can genuinely have scenarios in your mind that aren't even true this is why you find yourself obsessively thinking about someone that you didn't even give a fucking damn about it's because they're straddling you they're straddling you they're using your energy to somehow make their life more interesting make their life better They don't have intentions on having you as a stable. They don't have intentions on committing to you. I hate the word commit. It's such a strong word, commit. They don't have intentions to do that. You are like salt. Not even salt. Not even salt. You're like that unique (laughs) seasoning, right? That somebody puts in their pasta once and they're like, they can't have pasta again the same without it. Something like that. So you're not supposed to be used in that sense, which is why you might feel a sense of distraction or uneasiness or pain in your body with some people when you connect with them. It's because their intention is confused with you. And more often than not, when you allow these people to live in their reality, they do feel cast aside. They feel like you have blocked all the exits for them. And they don't know why, They find themselves thinking of you and you might not know why you don't even care to think of them anymore because previously you might have been obsessively thinking about this person or these people because you they weren't they were using you not perhaps knowingly but they were using your energy as some kind of footstool something to keep their life 
spinning to some extent. But more often than not, once they have come into contact with you, interacted with you, and they have made their choice, made their bed to some extent, I'm going to calm down, made their bed. (laughs) Okay, okay, like calm down, (laughs) right? And they go into their life and they're living their life and you're living yours and they don't get a taste or straddle with your life. I think they start to see things clearly. If they were a person who genuinely, right, wanted to be entertaining their karmic life, they're going to do that. But more often than not, something in their auric field has already shifted. We are all energy based. And if you have entertained, introspected, if you have shifted yourself out of self identification with just these transient aspects of self that we can find ourselves judging, then you can be like an infection, like some kind of disease that these people may not find themselves able to shake. And this has nothing to do with your ego or to pamper your ego, no less. It's facts. It's just facts. And the annoying facts is what people keep coming back for when it comes to you. And it's also why people avoid you because Now they're having to face another level of ego death where, oh God, this big mouth crazy person was probably right then. And now what do I look like coming to them after having chosen my karmic situation very pridefully, very certainly, I'm going to calm down, right? I'm going to calm down. You know what? I'm going to say this. More often than not... (laughs) You are punished for knowing what you know. This is the thing. People run away from you because what you say resonates. It resonates beyond reason. So they flee from you. They flee and then they find themselves in, in, in a state of confusion and upset that, oh God, I have to face this person again and they're gonna know that I know they were right. And all this energy, right? This energy of being so tethered to who the power belongs to, like we've spoken about yesterday and I've accentuated on the blog, which you will find pinned in the comment sections, FYI. This idea of where the power structure resides, somebody's the master and someone's the slave in a relationship. This is the stuff that you destroy, Because as hot as you come in, people believing that you're always going to be there, you can be as cold leaving and not in a state of vengeance, but in a state of you don't have no regrets because you brought 100%. You brought who you were. You didn't hide and lie. You're not straddling realities. So you shouldn't allow anybody to straddle realities with you. If they're going to be in your reality, they should be in. If they're going to be out, they should be out and see how that feels. Because more often than not, not here pumping up my lovers to sky high level of egoism as I'm accused sometimes of doing, but I don't care. I love it. I don't care. I love it. (laughs) Anyway, you, my dear are a lesson and I hate that word I hate it for us trust me I hate it but you have people in a state of holding back only because you were right you were right and more often than not the people that they may have leaned on at the time that they believed you weren't right they have to deal with those people too You have put a mountain before these people. I will reiterate that. You have put a mountain before these people. And in many ways, it's great because they have to conquer that dragon before they can have a real connection with you in a space that they're not judged in. And it shouldn't be a space that they can use, if you know what I mean. You shouldn't be a break from reality right? You have your own reality. You might be crazy. You might be off the wall, whatever, however you guys represent yourselves. But you shouldn't be an entertainment. You shouldn't be a spare time conversation. This is exactly why it's important for you to release people in this area. 
because I'm not going to repeat myself because I did mention why and how that connects. I'm not going to repeat myself. With that being said, I will just go ahead and quickly scan, see if I have... Oh yeah, I think I said everything. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. And um, oh yes, if you would like a personal private reading, it is a tarot reading. My email will be in the description box. My book, Sad Girl, is also out. And boy, oh boy, have I heard some people in my life calling me, you are indeed a sad girl. And yes, I am. So that's out as well. And so is my social media links. If you would like to see posts about, you know, all spiritual stuff and whatnot. It's not all spiritual, right? So with that being said, I will leave you guys to it. Happy Monday. Bye.